Hey guys, it's Jessica here. This is something that I always wanted to do ever since I was in Korea. Shopee and Lazada haul! The past two years, I think the delivery culture here in the Philippines has advanced a lot due to the pandemic. And that includes different delivery services like um, Grab and Food Panda, Shopee and Lazada. Shopee and Lazada, just until when I was here in the Philippines like three years ago, it wasn't super mainstream. But now everyone has it. I feel like there are more and more number of people who are into online e-commerce shopping. So yeah, it's actually my very first time using Shopee and Lazada in a very, very long while. I've used Shopee once. So upon exploring Shopee and Lazada, I actually had a lot of fun. So let's get straight into the haul. So I did not buy that many things, but within the things that I bought, I tried to, you know, buy like the high end ones, the branded stuff, and also like the really, really, really affordable ones, just so I get to experience like the whole range of the different, the quality, the delivery time and everything. So let's get started with the clothes. So the first thing I bought was this top that I'm wearing right now. So this is from Lovito and I figured that this is actually one of the most famous like um, clothing brand here on Shopee. And it's called like the Korean style crop top summer slim fit cute angel print t-shirt for women American vintage. So I'm a huge fan of these like simple crop t-shirt and this was 223 pesos. That's pretty affordable, right? That's for me that is. And it came from China. So it's made in China and it also was shipped internationally from China. So far, I'm liking the fit. It fits me well. So if you see the details of this shirt over here, it kind of looks like um, it's like a reversed shirt. But nowadays, that's also a trend as far as I know. So since it came from China, I think it took about like more than a week. But I think that's not bad considering that it came from China, like abroad. And then the next one I would say is the cheapest one I was able to find. Oh, no, it's not the cheapest one. It's um, 299 pesos. 299 pesos for a whole dress. It was a fail. <laughs> I'll just say it. The name of this, it says um, 2022 summer mini dress, sexy pink rose dress for women, off shoulder dress, Korean wrap around, etc, etc. And from the picture, it looked so pretty to me. But when I wore it, it just didn't fit me well at all. Like the waist was too big. Emotional damage! Expectation versus reality. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really f So. I won't say much about it for now. And this, by the way, came from QC. <laughs> yeah, I remember this arriving like so fast. I think within like two days it arrived. So delivery wise, really amazing. So this is what I got from Shopee as well. And this is branded from Forever 21. I think price wise, it's somewhere in the middle, middle range. So this crop tee was 600 pesos. It fits perfectly as well. And I like this like washed off design. You know, I love these kind of vintage, not so common, not so vivid uh, kind of texture. Next one I got from Forever 21 is this like, is it's like a set, it's like a training set. So the top was 495 pesos. Bottom when I bought it was 995 pesos. I also ended up really liking this because the pants usually, so I'm tall, I'm 170 centimeters tall. But usually when I wear joggers or when I buy joggers, if it's long enough, uh, for my leg, it's oh, no. too big on the waist. And if it fits well on the waist, it's too short for the legs. So that's always my dilemma when I shop for my bottom, especially pants. But this one, I got the medium size one. It's perfect for my leg length. And also it's not like too loose on the waist. It is loose if you like untie the string, but when you tighten it, it's just perfect. So yeah. And then the top, pretty cute, I guess, but I wish that they did not have this detail um, on the bottom if they just kept it simple like like a t-shirt and the rest is just perfect fits me perfectly now let's move on to the shoes so i got two shoes one from nike one from lazada what what one from Nike, one from Birkenstock, and both are from Lazada. So if you guys didn't know, I used to work with Lazada before, so I know all the Lazada interface and everything. So yeah, I got this from Laz Mall, which is the section in Lazada where you can find authentic products. I used to do live um, online selling at Laz Mall, specifically Laz Live there. So yeah, I know about it. Yeah, I got it from 
Birkenstock from Las Mall. And the delivery, oh, I forgot to mention about the delivery of the Forever 21 pieces. That took about like four days, I think, four or five days. This one took about four or five days as well. I am originally a huge fan of Birkenstock, like my past Birkenstock pair. I wore that until it split into oh two no. pieces. This was 5,090 pesos. I know it's a little pricey, but it's Birkenstock. It's worth it, you know, if you see the details and how long you can actually wear these shoes and how comfy it is. And if you like another comfy shoes, there is this Nike shoes. So this is called the Nike Women's Court Division Low Next Nature Shoes in White. And it was 3,895 pesos. Free! Affordable considering that it's Nike. I actually thought this was Air Force One. And I was like, Bruh. Air Force One for like under 4K? I don't think Air Force was that cheap because I had Air Force uh, before which I lost. That's why I wanted to buy a new one. So it wasn't Air Force, but it still kind of looks like Air Force. And I just wore this like twice, I think, and it already got very dirty. Oh, no. <laughs> it's very comfy and it goes well with any outfit because it's just like plain white shoes. So if you don't have a pair like this, I think this is a good price. This arrived in about three, four days, I think, as well. Deliveries are quite fast. The next thing I got is iPhone 13 Pro case. I recently changed my phone, guys. Obviously, I needed a case and I went on to Guys, so as you can see, there's sun over here, but it's raining so hard. The weather nowadays is really so crazy, guys. Much, much later. You know what? Since I cannot stop the rain, I'm just gonna continue. So this one is from Smart Devil. It was 399 pesos. So my iPhone is a gold iPhone, so you can choose the color. I chose the gold one, and it has exactly the same shade. I like how it also comes with the camera protection case, because you know how the iPhone 13 camera is like so big and it's like popped out? The next the next two things that I got came from Korea and one of them is masks. It's from Charm Zone and this was 1550 pesos for 25 pieces. I know it's quite expensive but you will know why the price is a little high if you look at the quality of it. It has a pretty high quality. And one thing I want to tell you guys is, so this is what I got from Korea, like a one box, one last box left that I brought from Korea. It comes in a box like this and there are 10 pieces inside, but this one, it was 25 pieces, right? It came like this in the oh. plastic. So I was just a little bit confused, like what? Since it was shipped all the way from Korea, I think the shipping time took nearly two oh, weeks, no. like 10 days, I think. Last but not the least, I bought some makeup products. So the first batch is from Rome and I got this from Shopee and it's called the Rome and Juicy Lasting Tint. This is my old time favorite tint from Korea. And even right now I'm using uh, one of the shades I got. So I actually got only one of this from Shopee Philippines and these two are what I already have but I just brought it out to show you more colors. This is what I got from Shopee and I really 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 love this shade. It's like beige. It's like this pink beige color that's not that's not a common shade from coming from tint. Number six fig fig has a very natural movie pink shade. It's not super dark, it's not super light. I think it's just a perfect color and it blends into your lip color very naturally. The next shade is number 24 peeling Engdu. This one is a little more red than fig fig. So I use this when I want to look a little more vibrant. Formula wise, this one basically is a tint, as its name says, a little watery and juicy, so it glows in your lips. Ooh, the rain is finally stopping, guys! Bruh. So this took around one week, 10 days maybe, Bruh. eight, nine days to come because it was shipped directly from Korea as well. It's completely Korean. Last but not least is this lip tint again from Maybelline. This was 399 pesos from Las Mall. This one is a very, very dark, purple shade which I absolutely love. I love wearing those colors when I am going out at an important event. I've been loving it. Nice color, long lasting, not too expensive. Whew, at least when the time has come for an outro, the rain has stopped. 
I had a very pleasant experience in this whole delivery shopping because first of all, everything came to me very, very quickly. So I loved that part. I also loved how there's Shopee Mall and Last Mall where you can also find products that you can like trust on its authenticity. I feel like this kind of looks like a Shopee Lazada ad, but it's really, really not. This was just a video of this like me trying this out here in the Philippines for the first time as a, yeah, as a Korean. From now on, when I need something, I'll definitely use Shopee Lazada. I know the Philippines is a country where delivery culture cannot be developed as fast as how it's done in Korea, I guess, because of the geography. You know, it's an island country, so if you live in like Davao, like far, and the product is coming from QC, of course it has to go through more process than just like QC to Metro Manila. And it's also not like the demand for all these online shopping is super high like how it is in Korea. It's definitely not like that because still people go out to buy and shop, I would say here. But yeah, still I do think that this online shopping, delivery culture, e-commerce, that industry I think will continue to just like prosper here in the Philippines. So let's see how this goes. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!